What's good, YouTube, and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Black Ice coming at you with another unboxing and review. This time from Pure Arts, we have the one fourth scale Eivor from Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Very dope statue. This is part of that Animus collection. They have a bunch of one fourth scale statues from the different Assassin's Creed video games. And uh, right here we got Eivor. Uh, I also have Connor from Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, he'll be here within a couple weeks. So yes, man, very excited, man, for this line. Let's go ahead and check him out and see what he's talking about. All right, so opening up the box, we have a lot of pieces. Most of them are part of the Animus. But then we also have his weapons as well as some animal uh, skulls and stuff like that. So just a bunch of uh, individual pieces to help bring the statue to life. All right, so first we have the statue in the background. Now let's get into this animus. So we have a bunch of individual pieces we'll be pegging in here. Uh, once we get that complete assemble, uh, we'll see the effect that it takes on the statue. But uh, just a bunch of individual pieces. Now, I like what uh, Pure Arts did. They actually numbered where all of the pieces go. And they also have the numbers on the actual anim animus pieces as well. So it does help you uh, with knowing exactly where the pieces go. So long as you follow the numbers, uh, you'll have everything pegged into the right spots. And, you know, you shouldn't have any issues with, uh, with assembling this part of the statue. And there you go. All right, so now that we got that done, we can continue moving forward. First, we'll peg in one of our tree trunks. Then we'll peg in the other one. And then we'll place on one of our animal skulls. And then we'll place on another one. Next, let's add that final tree trunk. And add on our final animal skull. Now we'll peg the shield into the snow. Next, we'll peg in the bloody Spartan helmet. Now we'll peg in Eivor. Now we have a small piece of animus that a peg on the legs. All right, now let's peg in the arrows. And we've already put on the bow. Now let's put in his right arm. Now let's put in the left arm. Now we have our left hand with that ax. And then we have our rope and hook, maybe for climbing.
Now let's peg in our right hand with the ax. And then we have our female head scope. And our male head scope. All right, so giving it a turn, man, 360, uh, checking it out, man. We have a lot of nice details here on the statue and the base. Uh, just a lot of detail, man. Even on the back here, you can see some of the uh, animus uh, and the way that it's done. I mean, just did an amazing job. And even on his elbows and arms, that animus effect, man, just looks real good. And, uh, and it just really adds a lot of character to the statue. And then also the animus on his legs as well. Uh, just really loving that. And then the blood here on the axe, man, on both the axe, they just look amazing. Uh, they just did an amazing job overall with this statue. It has a lot of small details that, you know, sometimes you just got to look in close to really identify. But man, they just did such an amazing job. Uh, and then here on the bottom, man, that little bit of blood right here on the base uh, from the uh, the person's head that's been severed uh, just looks amazing, man. Then we have that shield as well. And then, like I said, man, just continuing the uh, effect around the base. It just looks so good, man, that animus effect. So really loving it, man. Dope concept. Really loving this entire line. The way that they added the animus effect is what really just blows me away. Uh, it just adds so much character and detail to the statue. And it really just takes it to a whole nother level. So uh, those of you who are collecting this entire line or who are thinking about collecting this entire line, shout out, man, because it's very dope, man, to see all of these statues together. Uh, and then right here, we'll take a look at the uh, female version because in the game, you can choose between male or female. So it is cool that they added the ability for you to do that uh, with this statue as well. Uh, and if you notice, they did make the female head scope a little bigger. And that's basically to make the body look smaller so that it'll fit for a female instead of looking like a male. And also the statue comes with a certificate of authenticity uh, that you can also display with the statue on the stand. Very dope. All right, so now let's take a look at the light up feature. But before we do that, for my battery operated statues, I use a battery power supply adapter. And what that allows me to do is take what typically you would just have to use batteries for and be able to use it with the power source. And I like doing that because I can not only uh, prevent from using a whole bunch of batteries, but I can also uh, be able to plug this in with a smart device and be able to cut it on via Alexa. So I love doing that instead of just individually having to do it myself. So right here, you can see the way it works is you have the main battery that attaches uh, to the cable, and then you have two dummy batteries. And this will allow you to be able to control your device with the power adapter. So I started doing this back when I got my Darth Revan and Darth Malik uh, statues from XM Studios, and I realized that you know they worked off batteries and I just started googling and I end up finding these on uh, Amazon and thank God man that someone was genius enough to come up with something like this because it really does allow me to be able to utilize my statues light up abilities without having to push the button every time so um, very thankful that uh, that I was able to think of this but anyway, right here, um, Pure Arts does a great job. They kind of try to hide the button when on the side. 
and right here man we have the light up feature man and it looks amazing now these are some bright leds uh some very bright leds a lot brighter than i thought but i guess to give off that effect you will want those leds to be bright like this next let's go ahead and take a look at the posters uh, these are the posters that um, that I have for my two statues. We got um, uh, Eivor, and then we also have Connor uh, from Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, this is what the poster really looks like. It's a pretty big poster, but I'm going to actually cut these to size. So um, I'll be losing a lot of this amazing art here. But... Uh, the only reason I bought it was so that I could display it with my statue. So let's go ahead and check that out. All right, so this is what my posters look like now, uh, cut to size. Uh, I think these are what 11 by 16, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so cut them to size, man, and this is how I'll be displaying them in the display. So let's go ahead and check that out now. All right, now looking in the display, I'm loving this. Now, I already knew that the statue would cover up the poster, um, majority of the poster, because the back of the statue is so tall. Um, I think it's like 20, this is like a 27 inch tall statue. So I knew it was gonna cover it up, but I still wanted to put the poster in the background because I have it with all of my other uh, statues. So, now that we're in here, man, I'm really loving it. it. It really does look amazing, man, especially with the light up feature. Um, these are some amazing statues. I have been eyeballing this statue for a very long time, uh, but I decided to go with uh, XM's uh, Wolverine and B statues. And even though I did like them, I just don't think they fit with my statue collection the way I wanted them to. So those statues are being sold. I've already sold Beast. Still got Wolverine for sale if anybody's interested. But uh, yes, man, I'm really loving uh, this statue. I also have uh, my um, Ghost of Tsushima statue as well as the Witcher statues. So I'm basically just gonna make this side right here uh, in these displays basically just like my gaming side because they all are gaming statues so really loving this man uh cannot wait to get connor uh, once i get him we'll do that unboxing and review get him in the display right here next to Evor. if you were on the fence about these statues i'm telling you right now wait no longer these statues are amazing pure arts did a great job uh, bringing the Assassin's Creed statues, characters that we love to life. And I really, really, really enjoy looking at this statue. Now, funny thing is, I've never played this particular Assassin's Creed. I do have the game. Uh, I purchased it on Steam. So I'm going to definitely be playing that here soon. Uh, but very excited, man, to have this statue, man, like I said. Uh, but yeah, man, let's go ahead and check uh, the statue out with the lights off uh, and just see what that looks like. Alexa, turn off cabinet lights. All right, so with the lights off in the display, looks amazing. Now, I don't have the lights off in my room. I just have them off in the display right underneath. And, uh, and yeah, man, they put out a nice little bit of light here, man. I like that nice blue uh, illumination that it provides so very dope man very impressive i think connor has more like uh white lights i think the uh, animus on that one is white so i think they'll look real good together man they both have the uh snow effect on the base so that's gonna be dope as well so yes man um like i said if you're on the fence about this line wait no longer Definitely say go ahead and get your cop on, man. Especially right now, you could probably get it on, on, on sale or something like I did. But anyway, man, just let me know in the comments below what y'all think about the statue. Uh, I think it looks amazing. Uh, if you already collecting this line, man, tell me about it. Which statues do you have? 
Also, make sure that y'all hit that like button. It really does help out the channel. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And then make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any videos. I do got some more videos coming real soon from Iron Studios as well as Pure Arts and some Prime One statues as well. So make sure y'all stay tuned in and until the next time, peace.